Here's my lavish accommodations here in beautiful downtown. Absolute unit of a hotel room. <laughs> Got a, the whole room is a shower. And uh, it has this great exhaust fan that if you wanted your restroom to not smell like shit and the rest of the room to smell like shit, well, that'd be the perfect thing. I, I seriously, it's got this like, this old Honeywell like controller here. Dude, did you notice this fan in here? Nah. It's just, it, it's, it's taking the return right here, like from right over the shitter and it just blows it into the room. <laughs> Is that fucking stupid or what? Uh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Just pulled into town, and I don't know why, but I feel like I'm starting to like this place already. <laughs> Broccoli too. That's what the problem is about. Got the condenser set. And I'm pulling some electrical through. That's had a little bit of fun with that. And uh, of course, job site safety is always first. Yes. Alright, we finally got our uh, wire fish through here. Had to open a big old hole here. Ugh, ugly. Um, had, like, between here and the outside, there's at least three mid span blocks. I think there might have been four, actually. Um, so, framing is wacky. Um, I, I like to be a little bit more of a surgeon and less of a, um, you know, Freddy Krueger, but. Um, there you have it. And so uh, that was what it took for me to be able to get my arm up in there. I had to cut a V out of that block. And anywho, we got out there. But uh, we landed on this old ceiling heat circuit here, 30 amps, which is perfect for what we need. Um, we're gonna just disconnect and cap those wires off. I don't know what they're they're still going somewhere, but um, yeah, got the uh, liquid tight whip fit up as well. Not strapped in yet, but strapped on. Strapped on, yes. <laughs> Got our box mounted up all purdy there, and uh, we're gonna go over over the top of the window and then down, and that's the way all the line sets will come across there too. The same thing. That's Mister Cool to you. So we, so we got this uh, unit kind of temporarily installed last night. And now we're kind of getting the line set where we want it. And uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead and pump the unit down and then pull the line sets off real quick. Yeah, you get my nipple in there, bro. Look at that nipple. That's a safety nipple. Just waiting for the time delay here. I think it's going to come on. Oh, it just came on as we speak. Look at that. Uh, but here's the electrical connections. So I went ahead and uh, I haven't landed the other two units yet because I don't want them those wires being energized. But I went ahead and clamped everything in and got the all the grounds landed at least. And we can leave this uh, the downstairs unit here uh, wired up, and we'll just take up the excess in the corner if there is any. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pump this unit down now. Close down the liquid side. Uh, I should get my gauge. Hey bud, I'm gonna need you to go turn off the breaker in a second, okay? Okay. You know, you know which one it is, right? Uh, the middle one, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, go ahead and turn it off. Uh, no. you, yeah, it's all good, big boy. No. Yeah. 
Hopefully you didn't turn off anything else. I didn't hit this. Hold yeah. On. That would be off still. Oh, okay. So this one was... Oh, that one's all fucked off. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. It's, it's this outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That one. Anyways. So basically we used the... Uh, what we did there is, is we used the compressor to suck all the... All of its oh, all the refrigerant back in, so there's only like that much pressure on the line set, like 10 psi. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. So we've about got this routed where we wanted. Uh, we gotta strap the cable in with some zip ties or something better than just this little temporary twist. But uh, so we're going ahead and back and getting this line set down. It's as far over as we can get it, and uh, the other ones are gonna run behind there anyway. So. Okay, got the master bedroom unit raised up here. These ones just poke straight out of the wall. It was nice instead of having to raise behind the unit and do the brazing out here on the roof. And um, so slide this up, insulate it. Uh, we're going to put the line height over this part, I think. And um, yeah, we're going to run the line set down low along the roof line to make it as le least visible as possible. So. And yes, we did use nitrogen to raise up, of course. Uh, we bumped the line set side up, size up because it's a long run, and uh, that is also just so happened to be what they had available to, so it worked out both ways. <laughs> so we had to make a junction for the cable. Uh, the factory one isn't long enough, as the factory line set isn't long enough uh, for this bedroom unit. We got the indoor unit mounted, no problem, and stubbed out. And so here's the other end of the line set. So here's how we're doing it with these uh, liquid tight screen reliefs here. Uh, and then I'm just going to mount this to that side of the building. I don't want to do that. It's a torque wrench for the flare bolts, by the way. These are the two sizes. Right, here's how we did the electrical junction. Use these Wago connectors. I really like those. You know, uh, OCs into those here. A couple other guys as well. So we got our uh, second line set installed. We got a uh, three inch clamp right here. We're going to be able to get the last line set in there as well. We got it in there temporarily. Woo. And when we get the line set in there, we'll kind of give everything a final final touch up and uh, so we're going to be putting the line hide probably only on the front side where the first line set came down and right here and then right here uh, I don't think it's going to fit in the line hide so we have to cover it with something else or uh, just leave it as, it as is. Holding the evacuation now so we should be able to release the charge here in a minute and uh, test the uh, master bedroom unit. Okay. Alright, just uh, shut down uh, one of the two units, so the one's still running in the upstairs bedroom now, but it was uh, getting good performance with both of them running at full uh, uh, full speed. We set the temperatures real low, so everything was at, at max mode, and uh, so I'm thinking, uh, we definitely added um, you know quite a bit of distance to this line set and also some uh, you know uh, some some width you know, diameter increase to the tubing, so. Uh, we will definitely before the with the third unit we won't quite get the right capacity without adding some more charge so you can suck my unit <laughs> you can suck my unit but uh yeah i'm very pleased with, uh, that's gonna be a good stopping point for tonight we'll hit it hard again tomorrow made a nice little switch joint the tubing expander here and then i'm uh, gonna make a coupler out of the three eights for the quarter inch here because unfortunately this doesn't go down that small Alright, hit it, you big old lad. Alright, you're on. Oh, I'm not. Uh, off. Off? Yep, I'm an idiot. 
stand the fuck by. Alright, there we go. Alright, now hit it. Alright, go ahead and shut it off, bud. Alright, we're getting the section of the uh, line hydro on the can, and I got some expanding foam sprayed in the, uh, the hole there. Fill up the gap. And then, that's really all we can put on. It's running along the roof line, it's not really going to fit there. And we don't have anywhere near enough anyways. They, I was supposed to get at least two boxes and we only got one. So uh, it's only enough for one, uh, for a single zone system. So this is the one, this is the most visible side of the building here. So we're just going to hide kind of what's visible and then let the roof line, it's kind of out of sight anyways. So we we'll put one more clamp on, like right there as well. There it is all then. Good enough for this thing, Reed. There's the, uh, there's the last of the units. There's the third one. So I got them all set down to 65 right now. Uh, so everything's running at full, uh, full speed. Let's see. Let's I'm going to turn them all on to turbo. I guess that would be true full speed. Got to trim a little bit of foam there. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So on these two, just let the condensate drain off on the roof. Yeah, we're going up. It's going to go down together. And of course, that one that drain will sink away. So one last final test in heat mode here. It really, it really does look like snow, man. Yeah. It's actually all cocaine. <laughs> it's just, it's just that's where all the cocaine comes from. It's yeah, the cocaine, yeah. man. It doesn't come from Mexico. It comes from that one fucking mountain. Uh, that weird mountain in Northern California. Where all the cocaine comes from. Be there for it, dude! Yeah. Uh, flight 420 leaving at uh, uh. Okay. Or right, flight 69 leaving at 420 p.m. Fucking uh. <laughs> <laughs> stupid! South Weed! South Weed! South Weed Boulevard, bro! Fucking blazing!